Paracentesis, Wikipedia article audio. Paracentesis is a form of body fluid sampling procedure, generally referring to peritoneocentesis in which the peritoneal cavity is punctured by a needle to sample peritoneal fluid. Indications Forocytes Fluid analysis Contraindications The procedure is used to remove fluid from the peritoneal cavity, particularly if this cannot be achieved with medication. The most common indication is ascites that has developed in people with cirrhosis. It is used for a number of reasons. The procedure is often performed in a doctor's office or an outpatient clinic. In an expert's hands it is usually very safe, although there is a small risk of infection, excessive bleeding, or perforating a loop of bowel. These last two risks can be minimized greatly with the use of ultrasound guidance. The patient is requested to urinate before the procedure, alternately, a Foley catheter is used to empty the bladder. The patient is positioned in the bed with the head elevated at 45 to 60 degrees to allow fluid to accumulate in lower abdomen. After cleaning the side of the abdomen with an antiseptic solution, the physician numbs a small area of skin and inserts a large bore needle with a plastic sheath 2 to 5 cm in length to reach the peritoneal fluid. The needle is removed, leaving the plastic sheath to allow drainage of the fluid. The fluid is drained by gravity, a syringe, or by connection to a vacuum bottle. Several liters of fluid may be drained during the procedure, however, if more than two liters are to be drained it will usually be done over the course of several treatments. After the desired level of drainage is complete. The plastic sheath is removed and the puncture site bandaged. The plastic sheath can be left in place with a flow control valve and protective dressing if further treatments are expected to be necessary. If fluid drainage in cirrhotic ascites is more than 5 liters, patients may receive intravenous serum albumin to prevent hypotension. There has been debate as to whether albumin administration confers benefit but recent reviews report that it can reduce mortality after large-volume paracentesis significantly. The procedure generally is not painful and does not require sedation. The patient is usually discharged within several hours following post-procedure observation provided that blood pressure is otherwise normal and the patient experiences no dizziness. The serum ascites albumin gradient can help determine the cause of the ascites. The acidic white blood cell count can help determine if the ascites is infected. A count of 250 WBC per mil or higher is considered diagnostic for spontaneous bacterial peritonitis. Cultures of the fluid can be taken, but the yield is approximately 40%. Mild hematologic abnormalities do not increase the risk of bleeding. The risk of bleeding may be increased if Absolute contraindication is acute abdomen that requires surgery. Relative contraindications are To relieve abdominal pressure from ascites, to diagnose spontaneous bacterial peritonitis and other infections, to diagnose metastatic cancer, to diagnose blood in peritoneal space in trauma. Prothrombin time 21 seconds, international normalized ratio 1.6, platelet count 50,000 per cubic millimeter. Pregnancy, distended urinary bladder, abdominal wall cellulitis, distended bowel, intra-abdominal adhesions. <laughs>